This is a short clip concerning the Evinrude Yacht Twin 8 horsepower engine that's being used on a 125.5. The engine ran fine last fall. Spring, it won't run because it won't idle. It runs, but it won't idle. So I normally run the engine that runs out of fuel, but this time I forgot. And I'll pay the consequences. Carburetor's gummed up having old fuel in it. Here we see the service manual view of the exploded carburetor. The problem was not with the idle jet, which is the AB part shown in this picture. But the problem lied elsewhere. So we'll continue looking at the rest of these pictures. I always take pictures, digital pictures, before I disassemble something and during disassembly. This allows me a quick reference. If you ever get confused about what goes where, just go back and look at the picture and the answers are obvious. I do this with everything that I take apart and it always proves very fruitful in the end. Here are some more pictures as the carburetor is disassembled. And once again, you can't have too many pictures. This is a float bowl assembly. The float, on it, the float was fine, didn't have a problem. That's a pickup tube there for the main jet. And the float, well, like I say, it didn't have any problems. And there was no other problems with the bottom of the carburetor. All the problems are right here. As we zoom in on this picture, you'll notice that there are three little ports in that little recessed area right there. Those provide the idle mixture fuel. And the top port is smaller than the middle port, and the bottom port is the largest. The bottom port feeds that cavity. Then the venturi effect of the carburetor pulls fuel through the, first, the top and middle ports based on how wide open the throttle butterfly is. So we sprayed carburetor cleaner on these two little ports and finally got a torch tip cleaner through the smallest port and the middle sized port and then we put the carburetor back together. We then mounted the carburetor back on the engine and did it a full cycle of four and reverse gears at full idle and everything works fine. So that was the fix. If you have a similar problem this could be your fix too. Full idle. Four gear full idle. Here, full idle. 